Tonight we're here in Kingsville, Texas, investigating the very first bank of Kingsville, but now is a restaurant serving home-cooked meals, and some of the spirits, well, they're hanging around for the meals because they're so darn good. And tonight we're gonna check out what's going on inside this historical building. So hang tight, because you don't know what we're gonna find or what evidence we're gonna capture right here on South Texas Haunts. Whoa! What was that? Hello? Can you say that again? Are you showing me how you died? Oh, <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 you don't touch me. No, 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 no. Thank you so much for allowing us to come out here tonight and check out your wonderful uh, restaurant here. Uh, really would love to touch a little bit on the history. What, what history do you know about this location? This was the very first bank in Kingsville State Bank, which is still in existence a block over and a block down. Um, the bank was in, in I want to say it was 1931. It was during the Depression and people were concerned about their funds and they came in asking if their money was going to be okay. They were assured it would be. In September, the bank, they, that's when they came in. In October, the bank closed and in December, Mr. Collins, who we have a photo of above the vault, he got two other investors together and they reopened the bank and he was the last bank president here from 1931 to 1963 when they built the other bank. Wow, that is, that is a long history just in this one. You know, all this, the buildings that surrounding that here, there is so much history. Oh, there's just this one block. Um, when did, when did y'all actually take over? We've been here for six years now. For six years now? Mm -hmm. And when did you start experiencing things outside of the normal? The very first day we walked in. <laughs> <laughs> was it a surprise or is it just like, are they just saying hello? Uh, it was a surprise because previous the previous owner was my cousin mm -hmm. and she had a restaurant here and she never mentioned anything um, and she did pass away so we don't we can't ask her uh, but then when we took over all these things started happening and it was it was surprising <laughs> and, and not frightening but just startling um, I experienced the most of it um, I can't say that it doesn't, it's not exciting because it is. Uh, it slowed down a lot though. Yeah. And you've had other groups come in here and actually investigate it. Uh, yes. What's some of the stuff that they've captured that, that they've shown you? They actually captured a photograph of one of the little women that I see. Um, it is a photo and you can actually see her. Uh, they've captured moving figures on some of their uh, machinery. Mm -hmm. They've captured sounds, gunshots. Oh wow. Yeah and singing so you, you mentioned gunshot you know this being a bank you know the question is did something go awry you know is there any type of history that's linking something like that that happened here maybe you know a robbery gone bad and someone got shot no there isn't um, I've talked with historians in the town that the bank was never robbed never held up nothing so there, there's no real reason for the gunshots to actually be present here but there was no doubt that's what it was. Wow. I've experienced that in the past in, in a certain location, so I know it can definitely be very startling. Mm -hmm. uh, what you, you talked about seeing a, a woman, what, what is this, uh, what have you seen and, and experienced? When we first came in, uh, we started uh, doing some renovation, ripping up carpet, painting, moving things around, taking everything out, gutting it. Um, and I would see a tall, slender man in a suit mm -hmm. and a short heavy set woman in a dress. 
Where exactly did you see them at in, inside the building? In all the rooms, but they would always be on the other side of the door, peeking around. Thank you so much again for allowing. Hopefully uh, the spirits will be a little active tonight. We'll get some answers. We've got some new equipment that we're going to be trying out tonight. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is, this is going to be an interesting one. And thank you so much for reaching out to us. Absolutely. Thanks for showing. Hello. It's weird because it's really cold right here and it's not cold over here at all. Um, hello. Is any spirit or person here with us today? We would like to talk to you. I don't know. Are you the little old lady that likes to hang around in this building? I must say, from the picture I saw, your fashion sense is in impeccable. So from what I understand, the blinking lights could be you, is that correct? Can you make that light blink some more? I've been told I like to hang out back here. That was probably me walking by it. Come on, Gilbert. Is this where you like to hang out? What is your name? Can you mimic that sound? Can you knock on something? I heard something like that earlier. My name is Shauna, what is yours? with you? Can you say that again? It's weird because it's really cold right here and it's not cold over here at all. My shoes are making noises. I thought I heard, no, I can't. But I don't know if I really heard that or if it just sounded like it. That was interesting. Are you the lady in the dress? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Was there somebody talking over there? No, Melissa's over by herself. Uh, it was like a female. Yeah, yeah, it was a woman. She said yes or something. Like it was, she was answering our question. What's your name, ma'am? Pam, are you the lady in the dress? I am. She's over here. Why are you still here? Come on over, have a seat with us. Sit down right here where Melissa was, or in the chair over here that's pushed in. Is that them out there? Yeah, the guys are out there. 
Is there anybody here who wants to communicate with us? I hear there's one man or one person who kind of keeps the other ones from communicating. Why are you doing that? What is it that you don't want us to find out? You don't have to listen to this person. You can talk to us. Do you like what Melissa and them have done with the building? I have never heard this thing this, this quiet. Yeah, I have, this is weird. It's like they're afraid to talk. Are you afraid to talk to us? Do you watch Melissa when, and them when they're working? Do you watch over them? Sometimes. Can you say one of our names? If you want us to leave, tell us. Something tried. Yeah. You got to try harder. Like screaming at the top of your lungs. So thank you guys for letting us come in and investigate your restaurant and then allowing us, of course, to come back and do some other things with you guys. And of course, now we're going to show you with the EVPs that we captured on the investigation. Um, unfortunately, we didn't capture any video evidence, which isn't uncommon. Um, sometimes they want to be heard, not seen. Um, so some of these I know you guys have already heard, but we did capture some pretty cool ones that you haven't heard yet. So I'm going to share those with you. Um, I'm going to play them for and let you guys see what you think they say, and then I'll tell you what I hear. Um, so this first one. Do you like that this is a restaurant now rather than a bank? So it's actually answering your question. So we would call that a intelligent response. And then on this one, I believe this is where Monty is actually walking to the back after he heard somebody tell him not to go back there. Um, and so this is the response that we got from that. You don't want to go back there. Okay, yeah, it's me or I heard what's your name. Yeah, what's your name? I hear it. Yeah, I hear that. Do you hear it? And so that's another intelligent response, you know, like you didn't want me to come back here and you know, what are we doing now? Um, this one we've heard, but we'll play it again because it's one of my favorites. And that was when we were doing the ghost box session. Um, and so, like I said, I think it says to doll, like they're trying to show off because it was going loud and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. it got quiet. And then we got that response. Right. And then this one here, Monty was on his way back to the back area. A lot of these other EVPs were captured on the audio recorder that sat in the back of the restaurant most of the night. Really? So it was, and you always said too before, they like to run and hide. Mm -hmm. And so when I was listening to them and I kept getting responses off that one, I thought, oh, that kind of makes sense to what Melissa said, you know, that they're used to doing. So let's do this one. <laughs> And it almost sounds like a little kid mm -hmm. saying he's coming is what I hear. Mm -hmm. 
I, it sounds to me like, are you coming? Okay, that could be a... It's are you something, coming? and coming comes across are you coming? stronger than me. Are you right? coming? And that's when he was announcing himself that he was going to go back there. It does sound like a little kid. Mm -hmm. Like a little boy, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we got a, a hello already that we heard earlier, but then we also captured another hello. Like that was clear voice super um, clear and i believe we were asking questions up here about different things and nobody was back at the time except for the recorder and so i don't know if that was their response saying we would be able to hear them up here um but i mean it's pretty clear that it says hello mm -hmm. and it's a female voice your mouse just went out so then we'll do, of course, the other hello one that we hear. And you guys heard, like, hi, mom, or, um... I know. It's very clear, hi, mom. Right. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's what everybody calls her as mom. Okay. So it's kind of odd. It would make sense. Hi, mom. Yeah, and that was, you know, we kept having the REM pod and that the EMF light kept going off and off and off right here in this doorway where you guys say is kind of where you see like the shadow figures. Um, and so, and he had just went over to make sure the machine wasn't, you know, malfunctioning. And that's when we captured that. So, I mean, it's, and it, it, I hear hi mom also as well as, well as hello, um, but hi mom makes sense and correlates, you know, to what you guys do on a daily basis. Um, this one here, I hear don't go. Um, I believe this was when Monty was back there and he was saying, okay, I'm going to go back up to the front. Um, and I hear don't go. You guys might hear something different. And it's very light and you almost only hear the word don't before you hear, before you hear go. I hear the don't. Right. I didn't hear the go. So don't go. It's fast. Don't yeah. go. Don't go. Yeah. Yeah. So then let's see. So then of course the one, this other one here, it was like somebody was giving somebody a warning um, about what was like going on, that there's people here. And I hear he's coming. the little boy right it yeah, almost sounds like child's yeah. voice yeah. yeah that's what i hear is a little child's yeah. voice mm -hmm. and then last but not least the one that i think kind of blew all of our minds um because there's no way that there would have been a child i mean obviously we knew there wasn't a child here at midnight or 1 a.m and the recorder that caught it was actually inside the vault and so to me, that's probably our creme de la creme um, EVP that we captured, which is right here. And it's just so infectious. Guessing goosebumps. It's just this kid who is like it's living his mom laughing. It's like hysterically laughing, yeah. like a three he's or four year old. Living, he's living his best life. There was nobody in the vault, and you can hear all of us talking out here on the recorder that was in the vault when that kid is laughing into the recorder. And I mean, there was no kids here, and that was none of us <laughs> laughing that way. I wish I could laugh that <laughs> Me too. No, that's definitely a child. So, I mean, there was definitely some very intelligent spirits here trying to communicate, and we've got male voices, female voices, kids' voices. Um, so I definitely think there's something here. Now, I wouldn't say haunted, like there's not here to do, you know, ill will to anybody. They're just here living their life and enjoy, evidently, like they said, enjoying the fact that it's a restaurant. People come here and eat all the time. Which is very cool. Do you guys have any feedback or any thoughts or? I'm just excited they're happy and that you found it <laughs> and that I'm not going crazy. I did see it. I mean, right. I did hear it. So yeah, that's yeah. It's good to know. Child. To me, that was the best one I got. Best. I was listening and I go, I'm listening and I hear it and I went, 
excuse me? <laughs> so I played it again and I was like, that's a child laughing. It's really? none of us laughing. Hysterically laughing. Right. Yeah. They're, so, I guess, getting a kick out of what we were doing. It like a little girl to me. There's yeah. no mistake that it, what that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're getting a kick out of whatever's happening here. They're watching every little thing. Yeah. And that could be who's moving the chairs around. You know what I mean? Maybe. Because they're you know, trying to get that attention and being a mischievous kid. You're going to do little things and hopefully somebody notices. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much all the EVPs. We did capture some other EVPs, but you really couldn't hear or understand what they were saying. It was just like mm -hmm. low voices. Um, there was one where it seemed like there was two or three people having their own conversation and you could hear the different tones of the voices But you really can understand what they were saying. Yeah, right. um, but these were kind of the best ones and of course that child one to me is just and I couldn't ask for a better one. Maybe as they get more used to us Then we will hear more things right yeah. Or maybe find out some more names or like you said you're doing research on the you know the names that we have gotten in the past um, I don't know if George was something, that, a name that you've ever gotten here, or mm -hmm. so there could be, you know, other spirits here that we're not even aware of. Yet. Right. So they're getting comfortable with us, mm -hmm. especially the child who's laughing hysterically at us for being goofy <laughs> and hunting ghosts at the end of the night. <laughs> well, that wraps up this investigation here in Kingsville, Texas. It was definitely an interesting investigation, but now I want to head home and enjoy this great food. And if you want to know more about this location and others, make sure to follow us on social media and check out our website at South Texas Haunts. Till our next adventure, see you there.